Hello, everybody. Welcome to another MXGP Tech Talk with me, Paul Malin, where today we will be catching up with the guys at Maxis Tires. And we'll be talking about the history, the infrastructure, as well as racing at the highest level. And as an added bonus, we'll also be talking to a team manager who represents Maxis uh, in one of the teams in the MXGP paddock. So our guest today are Sjord Falkens. He is the product manager for Motorcycle Off-Road for Maxis Tires. And of course, we've got uh, Marco Maddy. He's the team manager for Haspana Junior Racing. Maddy and uh, guys, how are you doing? And uh, where are you, first of all? I'll start with you, Sjord. Good to see you, by the way. Hi, guys. Um, at the moment, I'm in the tech center of Maxis. And this is based in, uh, in Holland, in the Netherlands, very close to Eindhoven. Uh, the place officially is called Ude. And uh, it's pretty good out here now, today. Good, good. And uh, Marco Maddy, I'm going to come to you, of course, uh, team manager for Husqvarna Junior Racing Maddy. Um, whereabouts in the world are you at this very moment? Hi, Paul. Uh, hi to everyone. Uh, I'm in Belgium with all the team. We are training here in the sandy tracks before go to Latvia, where we are waiting this season restart. Uh, so we are here in Belgium and uh, we are doing some good trainings in the last weeks before the GP starts again. Yeah, not not too many sandy tracks uh, this year now on the calendar. Hey, Marco. <laughs> not so many, not so many. So we need to be 100% uh, ready for this uh, new calendar with a lot of sandy tracks. Luckily, our rider are all good in the sand, so I hope we can have a good season. Okay, well, look, before we uh, start the show officially, let's take a quick look at what Max's tyres do best during the season. So a quick look there at what Max's tyres do on a regular basis, week in, week out. And uh, let's crack on with the show then. And uh, I'm going to come back to Shurd. Um, Shurd, Max's tyres is, I guess, considered one of the top 10 tyre manufacturers uh, in the world. Um, can you maybe explain more about the global infrastructure for us? Yeah, that's correct, uh, Paul. Maxis is... Uh... A very big company at the moment. It was founded uh, around 53 years ago in uh, 1967. And uh, at the moment, we are developing uh, and producing, of course, passenger car, light truck, truck, uh, motorcycle on roads, motorcycle off road tires, of course, and uh, even bicycle and go kart tires uh, are made by Maxis. Um, Maxis has around 31,000 employees worldwide and has a distribution uh, over 180 countries with two tech centers uh, in Europe, where I'm located, and one in America. Um, and all, of course, a lot of factories, around eight factories around the world, worldwide sales office, um, marketing offices we have. And beside that, since a couple of years, we have an own proving ground in Shanghai for road testing uh, mainly with high-speed circuits, wet and dry handling, uh, durability roads, braking tracks for dry and wet, uh, noise tracks, and of course, much and much more. Okay. And in terms of the lockdown that we've experienced recently, has this caused Maxis um, to sort of be able to continue uh, with development um, in the absence of normal riding and racing? Yes, yes. We were, uh, yeah, well, the development uh, was 
went on. We were quite lucky, let's say, that headquarters based in Taiwan and they didn't have a really high number of uh, COVID cases. So basically the factory was still open and uh, this gives us time to uh, work on the new Metard design for the MX and uh, technical composition of the tires. Other areas of the business, let's say, uh, have remained steady uh, with cycling increasing in popularity as yeah, many countries have been allowed to go outdoors only to exercise. And of course, t- car tires are uh, always needed. Yeah. And, uh, and I guess a similar kind of question to you, Marco, obviously as a team manager to the Maddie Hasvana, uh, Hasvana Junior Racing Maddie team, um, how have you been able to uh, continue? Um, have you used this time in a good way to maybe sort of maintain the rider's fitness and, and those kind of things? Or has the situation in Italy prevented this? Yes, we we f- for sure fully use the time of the lockdown to to work with our riders, especially, for example, Alberto. He has been able to work on his body uh, the most. He, for him, the goal uh, this year, it was to lose as much as possible weight. And he, and he really did. He really did a, a good job in this lockdown. So he did a lot of training in the gym, in the cycle. Uh, and of course, when it was possible on the bike uh, again, in Italy, we started on the bike around 4th June, I think. So he did a very good job in, in that period. So for him, uh, of all the riders we have, it was the, the one who needed more this, uh, this period. And also after Varkes, but he had a little injury on the shoulder, so it was uh, not 100% for the next month. And so I can say that we were quite lucky that we had no races after uh, Varkes. Mm. And uh, for example, uh, and then Mattia, Mattia also worked pretty hard. He was okay with his body and everything, so he only tried to maintain his condition, working in the uh, agility or uh, bicycle or um, he did he did all the work in uh, as possible to maintain himself ready for the restart and uh, and after that he also came back on a bike in june until uh, until now and then we have a uh, piece that he never stopped really because in germany the lockdown was not that bad like we had in Italy, so he was able to training also on the bike one or two times a week, plus the physical training. So he basically never stopped all the all the period, and now we are here ready to start the races again. Yeah, and, and we can't wait. I know I can't wait. It's just been way too long, you know, being away from a motocross track. But at the same time, it's it's not been so bad as well. But sure, I'm going to come back to you. Um, as a company, how does MXGP play a part in the development of Maxxis motocross tyres? Uh, quite big, to be honest. Um, in around 2018, Maxxis headquarters decided to start a new chapter for the global off-road business. And we decided to enter the high-demanding MXGP competition with an off-road motorsport service. And together with the office here in Europe, we started to develop a complete new range uh, to match yeah, all the top results in all race classes. Um, with, of course, including a professional uh, race service, which are uh, executed, let's say, by Roberto and Giovanni. And they are well known, I think, in the scene of uh, MHGP with over 35 and 40 years of experience in the MHGP and even in the MXGP itself, just not only MX. But I think uh, Marco can uh, confirm this. Uh, it all started, I think, 2016, when we had contact with uh, Marco and Corrado Madi. And I think this was the last year Marco was active as a rider. And after this, we, let's say, started to investigate already the market on motocross and uh, how the Maxxis tires were performing. And then what I just said, around 2018, we started with a complete new development of the tires. And in 2019, we launched the new Max Cross range. 
And of course, it's no coincidence that we uh, in, uh, introduced them uh, in the same time we co had the cooperation and partnership with uh, Ustream at that time in front at the moment. But I think we, we can be quite pleased with uh, last year results because uh, after uh, one year, let's say the first year of Maxis, we immediately went home with the European champion and the world championship in uh, one to five and uh, the third place in EMX 250 from uh, Forato. Also, the riders from uh, Marco's team. And uh, yeah, we, we train a lot, we practice a lot. Uh, and although the track conditions in MXGP are prepared these days, the temperature and weather influence are very affected uh, on the, the track performance. And yeah. MXGP allow us to analyze tire performance across many uh, different aspects and continuously improvement of our uh, MX products. And the plan for coming years is uh, to complete and exist to complete the existing uh, product range. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I mean, you just mentioned it, the weather. Um, you know, you're you're up in Holland, probably an hour from me, um, and it's close to 30 degrees today. Somewhere yeah. in the south of Europe, they're experiencing 40 degrees. You know, in Spain and places like that. So, like you say, weather conditions, track conditions, um, plays a, a massive, massive part. Um, yeah. But uh, for for Marco, who's obviously in the sharp end as the team manager, um, what's it like working with the tire manufacturer uh, to develop the tires? Based specifically, based specifically on on your feedback, Marco. Yeah, it's it's great, and just like uh, should mention a little bit before, uh, in 2016, in my last uh, year of rider, I was running the MXGP with the Squarna, and uh, and my team was riding with Maxis. So, in that year, we I met Shud and all the Maxis uh, guys, and and we did many tests in in 2016, and. Uh, and it's kind of funny that now, last year in 2019, the, the feedback that uh, I also gave to Maxis in 2016 were reality with the tires that uh, we use with Mattia and Alberto, and that uh, we achieve uh, so good results. So, our my story with Maxis it started before uh, a little bit before than than last year. But now we have uh, a Mattia and Alberto, for example, that are two completely different ride riders uh, in style and in and in, uh, and in the life also. But uh, talking about the style, uh, Alberto is much more heavy, Mattia much more light. So we can give to Maxis a complete feedback to, about the tires and how they work and uh, all the information they need to to develop. The, the new tires for the for the season and and we work very close with the company and also sometime also during the year we get a new update and, and and new tires that we we try and then when everything it, it works we bring to the to the race so it's a very good combination i think we have with maxis and uh, it worked really pretty good Mm. Well, it was a, a good championship, uh, good championship year for you last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your team personally came away with three championship podiums. Yeah. How do you think um, you were able to perform so well? Yeah, I think I think we did a very good work, uh, starting from the off season with Mattia and Alberto. Uh, we believe in a whole style training system simple uh, our team is like a big family so it's we spend a lot of time with the riders we follow every training uh, in the track in the gym so we stay a lot of time with the riders and and uh, we have a full story of of the rider and what's going on and if we have some problems it's for us more easy to understand where the problems uh, begin because we are always with the rider and so for this reason i think we can also solve it a little bit before than 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 other teams but uh, our team is pretty simple my father he teach me a lot and i'm trying to 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 bring his experience 
uh, in the team and, and, and continue with the same philosophy. So I think the simplicity is the, maybe the secret of, the, of our team. Yeah, actually, um, I like coming to the races and I like seeing your dad, actually, because um, I've known yeah. him from when I raced. And obviously yeah. he was a racer before I was uh, racing. And every time I see him, you know, he has that element of old school still about him. Yes. You know, the passion, the drive, the determination, um, a good single mindedness, a focus mm. that you don't see. I'm not saying that you don't see it um, with the other team managers, but just yeah. he has a unique way yeah, yeah. of uh, going about his business and 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 i like that i love it it's refreshing you know yeah we can say that for sure he live he live 100 percent for the motocross is his life uh, and it i think i'm sure it will be <laughs> until the end because it's too much passionate for this sport <laughs> well look i'm gonna come back to sure um obviously we're talking motocross because marco and uh you know his family are running that team in the motocross uh, championship but success last year as well i believe in in the enduro uh world championship uh, brett freeman <laughs> yeah you're right uh, paul you're well uh, good up to date to, to be honest but uh, around yeah let's say around the same time we started with the motocross tires we also started with the the enduro tires to develop a new generation and uh, we did this together with the team of uh, Jano Boano in, uh, in Italy. And together with them, we developed a new front and rear uh, combination for the races. And immediately, also there in the first season in 2019, they used our new developed tires and they became uh, overall uh, Enduro champion with uh, Brad Freeman. Which is, yeah, of course, unique because we had an exceptional uh, year last year with the uh, Enduro World Champion, uh, Motocross World Champion. Uh, basically, we had it all already in the first year. And let's say, although there is a, quite a big difference in uh, Enduro and Motocross because of uh, different rules there. And yeah, think about duration of the race, different tire rules, etc., etc. Now uh, we can learn a lot from uh, both of these competitions because uh, the tires are both used very on the limit. Yeah. Well, obviously, you kind of said, you know, obviously, motocross and enduro are quite different. But um, last year, I believe, was your first year in, um, in MXGP in partnership with MXGP. Um, yeah. And obviously, it went extremely well, as you said, um, a world championship title with Guadagnini, third with Ferrato, just for those two guys. Um, is this sustainable for the future, um, you know, for Maxis to be involved at the, at the highest level? Um I cannot say anything else than that we are extremely pleased with the results uh, we achieve at the moment with uh, with our tires. And yeah, of course, there's no greater advertisement for product quality and uh, product performance than riders winning championships uh, on our tires. Um, it was an incre incredible strong start to our uh, partnership with uh, Ustream. Um, but on some level, we were yeah, also not surprised because we know we had put the necessary development work uh, right in place. We, we Let's say we have a long-term roadmap in our uh, product development uh, where we not just say we won championships, those tires are good enough. No, Maxis will keep pushing to constantly make uh, our tires better and better. Okay, well, look, um, we've got some um, social questions that we've had over the course of the last few days. Um, let's start with this one, uh, sure, uh, from David Newman. Um, he says, what is the difference or what is the main difference between a sand tire, a mud tire and a hard pack tire? Um, first of all, David, thank you for your question. It's quite a good one, to be honest. Um, Max is the uh, specified the tires in, in four categories. So a sand tire, mid soft tire, mid hard tire and a hard pack tire. And the biggest differences between the tires are, of course, the, yeah, the design of the tire, so the block arrangement. But beside that, also the compound and constructions are different from each other to, to maximize the performance for each different type of terrain where they uh, are used in. Okay. Um, we have a question here from Ryan Fuller, and he wants to know how important is it to have fast riders in classes such as the EMX 125 and EMX 250 for developing the tires. Um, thank you, Ryan. Again, uh, let me make yeah. Let me say one thing. 
um, the future is the youth. So the young people are the future. And also for Maxis, it's uh, very important. And this is also one of the reasons why we support the MXGP uh, Youth Academy. Um, so young and fast riders in 1 to 5 and the 250, they race as well on the Levant. And this is important for development information for Maxis. Future to this, we hope that to follow, of course, young riders with Maxis products, that they become top athletes and use Maxis tires also when they drive on the 250 or 450 bikes. And yeah, because of this, Maxis plan to expand its senior sizes also to the junior sizes uh, from 50cc onwards. Wow, that'll be great. Well, I hope that answers your question, Ryan. Um, the question here from uh, Filippo Russo. Uh, do you have a test team that develop the tyres or do the riders develop the tyres during the race season? Um, both, to be honest. Uh, Maxis has a dedicated test team, dedicated test rider, uh, who will develop the tyres for MX and Enduro. Uh, our main test rider is uh, Davide Guarneri, who is Italian and was a former uh, MXGP rider, and he is currently active in uh, in the Enduro. But besides all the the testing we do, the information and data we gather during the races from all the teams, from Marco, from the riders, from Guarneri, from Forato, they are extremely important for uh, our development. Davide Guarneri. There's a name. Yeah. <laughs> it's not um, easy for me to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Guanieri. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Dylan Bailey wants to know, how important is it to have a big choice of tyres for your riders during the race weekend? Um, thank you, Dylan. Um, it sounds maybe a bit strange, but riders, to be honest, don't like it to have a lot of tyre choice during the weekend. Too much choice will become insecure for them and currently Maxis only supplies two type of tires to the riders during uh, an MXGP weekend so the sand tire and the mid soft tire because these days all the tracks are prepared and we see that two different type of tires are suitable for all the type of terrain in uh, MXGP okay um Luke Vanderberg how many tyres does an MXGP MX2 rider use during a racing weekend, approximately? Uh, thank you, Luke. Also you for the question. Um, it's really depending on which kind of track we are uh, racing. For example, let's say a Lommel. It's a, it's a track where the tyre wear is very low during the, the training and all the races in a weekend. But for example, Russia, the tire wear is much higher because of the, the hard pack track there. And they use a lot more tires during the weekend. But on average, I think we can say for each rider between five and 10 pieces. Okay, I uh, hope that answers your question, Luke. Um, Anton Bernard wants to know, are the riders the ones that choose the tire? Or is there somebody from your factory, uh, I guess from race service, uh, that helps them with the correct with the correct choice? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we are always present at the MXGP weekend. In total, we are normally always with three persons. It's myself and two other people. Um, those other two people already have 35 to 40 years of experience in motocross and uh, in the MXGP. Um, Depending on the track conditions, we choose normally together with the team and the rider, I think Marco can confirm this, which tire to use uh, in a weekend. But of course, in a weekend, uh, weather can change. And uh, depending on the weather changes or track changes, we sometimes uh, do small adjustments on the tire or on the moose to find the optimum balance in uh, the racing. Okay. Um, Klaus Weber, uh, how has Max's tyres developed in the last decade? Um, thank you, Klaus, for the, for the question. Um, let's say Max has already had for many decades an MX and Enduro programme. Only in 2017, as I just mentioned, we started basically from scratch to design a brand new MX and Enduro programme 
And at the moment, we are still busy to design a new, highly competitive mid-hard racing tire, which should offer a little bit or a better performance, let's say, on certain tracks on the MXGP calendar. Um, and I think this is the most important item we do uh, these days. We test uh, always on many different tracks and conditions to make sure we meet the highest expectations in from the riders and traction, stability, comfort, acceleration, the weight, the durability of the tire, and more. And all this we do before we officially launch the tires into the market. Okay. And finally, uh, Oliver Brown, how important is it to have a high performance tire also for the amateur riders that wants to enjoy motocross during the weekend? Thank you, Oliver. Um, uh, let me say that the high performance tire does not only give good lap time during a race weekend for the professional riders in the European and in the World Championship. Um, our high performance tire also gives good predictability on the on the tires. And this makes the tire very easy or good suitable, let's say, for amateur riders and uh, easy to ride for them as well. Okay, well, uh, hopefully that answers all your questions, guys. Um, that pretty much rounds up the, the tech talk today. But before we do go, uh, Marco, just going to come back to you. Just over a week away now from the restart of the FIM Motocross World Championship when uh, we return to the MXGP of Latvia at the circuit of Kegums. Um, there is a race this weekend, though, in, in the Netherlands, in Axel. Uh, will your team be going there, or are you going to save yourself for the... The, the big stage and, uh, you know, wait until they get to Latvia. What's what's the plan for you between now and then? The, the plan is, like you said, Paul, to save ourselves and uh, be ready for the for the big race in Latvia. We will have so many races uh, in, a, in a close time. So I want that uh, my riders stay fresh and healthy as most, the most as possible. So... Um, for this time, we don't go racing before. We just wait the the start of the GPs and be ready for that appointment, one hundred percent. So we we still wait a little bit, uh, but we will be ready for the when the gate drop in Latvia in two weeks. Okay, and uh, I'm going to come to you as well, Shord. Um, obviously, this is unprecedented times in the way that we're going to go racing. The next three rounds, all in the space of one week. Um, how, how challenging is that? I mean, this is just something for me to get my head around. How challenging is that going to be for you uh, and your team logistically in terms of having material, having enough material uh, in one venue to cover three GPs? Yeah, it's, it's quite a challenge, to be honest. Uh, we need to bring a lot of tires uh, to, the, to the tracks. Um, we are quite lucky that it's a sand track. So normally riders don't use a lot of uh, tires here, but uh, it's challenging to bring everything uh, to the yeah to the GP in uh, in one and a half week two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, uh, guys, um, Sherd Falcons, the product manager for Motorcycle Off Road at Maxis, and of course uh, Marco Maddy, Husqvarna Junior Racing. Uh, Maddy, team manager, thanks for your time today, and thanks for shedding some light on everything you do at Maxis and a little bit what you guys do over there at Maddie Racing. Uh, Marco, wish you all the best. And the next time I see you will be in just over a week's time when we return to MXGP action at the MXGP of Latvia. Well, uh, that's it for our Tech Talk. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you at the races very, very soon. Thanks for watching. And thanks to our guests once again. See you. Bye for now.